Oh, hello there. Yes, Sunday day for quiet reflection in the papers. Yeah, no, obviously not. Uh, this is England, mate. Uh, we don't do quiet reflection in the papers here. I was thinking this morning that um, it's really odd because when I was uh, younger, quite a lot younger, um, nobody wanted to live in the provinces. Nobody, everyone thought that Scotland and Wales and Northern Ireland were these very odd places that no one would want to go. And now we realise that actually it's completely the opposite, that the one place you don't want to go is England. Unless, of course, it's to a hellhole on fire on holiday, like Sardinia, which is something the newspapers are just treating as, oh, that's odd, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, just to get back to the quiet reflection. Uh, the Daily Mail, upon uh, quiet reflection upon Thursday's uh, by-election results, um, comes up with the Tories can, can win, can, in 2024, but only if the party can do, rediscover the tr sense of purpose and adopt three true blue strategies. Yes, indeed. Now, amazingly enough, you can actually guess what the three true blue strategies are. Uh, yes, indeed, it has to be has to be tax cuts. In this case, they've decided inheritance tax because they can sell that to you because whenever I think they figured that actually trying to sell, sell you to tax cuts just means rich people but now they're going to persuade you magically it'll be inheritance yes because there isn't a tax cuts for rich people honest honest it isn't yes and of course it's getting rid of the green agenda because after all even though Sardinia is burning it's just one of those things isn't it yes and also culture wars yes yes so so let's beat up the Sardinians no not the Sardinians the trans people those are the ones yes I think I've got that right and yes, um, carrying on, the Daily Express has, uh, unless Matthew Goodwin, who just really seems to have really be showing his true colours, as opposed to the moderate person that he was pretending he was when his book was coming out, unless Rishi Sunik takes on the Tory wets, his party's to party is toast. Yes, indeed, going back to that notion that somehow the Tory party is being sabotaged by people who, you know, realise they can't get unworkable things through. And we get Jacob Rees-Mogg with banks are we bailed out and now run on woke credentials. Yes, because he lives in a world where banks are very, very left wing and have been overtaken by magically by communists. You know, a bit like Disney and Ron DeSantis. Yeah, it's astounding, isn't it, that all of these uber billionaires who are extremely extremely interested in keeping their workers' wages low are at the same time communists. Very strange. Yes, and the Daily Telegraph, not even going to bother with the Daily Telegraph, the, um, uh, their cartoonist actually shows it all, which is the little thumbnail I've used for this video. And finally we get a sense of something else from the Financial Times, because the Financial Times, even though it's recently been started to be described on places like GB News as a left-wing newspaper, um, has the unravelling of British and Britain's Conservatives, and it offers, as it does, a very reasoned view of ways forward for the Tories, which is basically being sensible but of course that isn't what isn't what is going to happen is it because we no longer live in sensible land we no longer live in sensible england we're now the outer fringe where it doesn't really matter how much of a nutter you are yeah you can even if you need a reasonable analysis it magically has now become left wing if you want to go to a bank it's magically left wing yeah it's an odd odd place where the natives are very strange anyway do have a lovely sunday and um yeah stay dry it's wet isn't it apart from sardinia obviously mm.